Hi, superstars. It's time for math. We are on lesson 11-5. Look for a pattern. You have learned how to break apart numbers 11 to 19 into a group of 10 ones or a 10 and a group with some more ones. Today, you will learn how to look for patterns to help you decompose or break apart numbers and write number sentences. So how can we use patterns to break apart numbers 11 to 19 into a 10 and ones and write number sentences? I'm going to write down these numbers 11, you can do the same, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Oops, 19. Okay, so we're going to be looking for patterns to help us break apart all of these teen numbers into a 10 and a 1. So what we're going to do together is decompose the number 17. So how should we start? So we want to decompose the number 17. Well, if you have counters, you can count 17 counters. Now to break 17 apart into a 10 and ones, what should we do? Let's first fill in the blue 10 frame with 10 counters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we always start by filling our first 10 frame and that means there are 10 counters there. So what do we do next? We're going to put the leftover counters in the red 10 frame. One. Now let's start counting from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So after we filled in our blue 10 frame, we put the leftover counters in the red 10 frame. So now what number sentence should we use to describe this drawing that we made? Well, we have 17 equals, we have 10 counters in our blue, 10 frame, and how many counters do we have here? Seven. So our number sentence is 17 equals 10 plus seven. So we did number 17 together. All right, now I want you to do 11 to 19 on a separate piece of paper. You can use counters or you can color in 10 frames. And I want you to decompose these numbers, 11, 12, 13, all the way to 19. And I want you to write a number sentence to show the picture that you made. Let's turn our paper over now. All right, let's look at our first box up here. Read and understand. How do the counters in the 10 frames match the numbers in the number sentence? Well, the 10 frame with the red counters right here shows a red number, 10. And the 10 frame with the yellow counters shows a yellow number, 
eight in this number sentence. Let's look at our second box. What color and number patterns do you see in these number sentences? Well, if you notice, the number 10 is always red and the last number is always yellow. The black and yellow numbers always grow by one. So how can you use patterns to help you solve the problem? So remember, these numbers always grow by one and these numbers grow by one. So if you notice here, we go 16, then 17, then 18, and look at the yellow numbers. They also grow by one, six, seven, and eight. So 19 would equal, now if we notice we have 18 here, so 19 equals 10 plus, remember it grows by one. So if there's an eight here, we are going to put a nine here. 19 equals 10 plus nine. So let's look over here and see. So how many counters are there in all? There are 19 counters in all. How many red counters are there? 10, so there's a 10 over here. And how many yellow counters are there? Nine. So we are going to trace the nine here. So what color do you think this nine should be? Should it be red? No, nope. it should be yellow. So use a yellow crayon because it is representing the yellow counters, just like this 10 is representing the red 10 counters. All right, let's look at our last box here. All right, so look at the last number sentence. How can you check your answer? We can use patterns. Does it match the patterns? So look at it. Remember, six going down, increasing by one. Six, seven, eight, nine. So it does match the pattern, right? So the number 10 is red, the number nine is yellow, the black and yellow numbers are one more than the numbers in the sentence before it. So always look for that pattern. All right, let's move our page up and let's look at our first problem here. Let's get our red. So let's look at number one. So it's asking us, oops, we can't see the directions, can we? It's asking to trace the numbers that complete the number sentence in number one. So we're going to go to number one, look at your 10 frames and complete the number sentence. So we have 12 counters in all. How many counters in the first 10 frame? We're gonna use a red crayon and we're going to mark 10. How many counters in the second 10 frame? Two, so you're gonna get a yellow crayon and trace that two. So 12 equals 10 plus two. All right, let's look at number two. Write the numbers that complete the number sentence to show 15. So we have 15 total counters. How many counters are in the first 10 frame? It's full, so we know that there are 10 counters. Let's look at the second 10 frame. How many counters are in there? Five, you can count them. So we're going to put a five right here and 15 equals 10 plus five. All right, let's go to number three. Write the numbers that complete the number sentence. 
So now we have 17. That means there are 17 total counters. Let's look at our first 10 frame. How many counters are there? We know 10, we do not have to count that. Look at our second 10 frame. How many counters do we have? Seven. So our number sentence is 17 equals 10 plus seven. Last problem, write the numbers that complete the number sentence. Again, how many do we have in the first 10 frame? We have 10 and we are decomposing 14. There's a total of 14 counters here. We have 10 counters in our first 10 frame. How many counters do we have here in the second 10 frame? Four, so we write the number four. So our number sentence is 14 equals 10 plus four. Good job, superstars. Until next time, have a wonderful day. All right, see you next time. Bye.